in a medical malpractice case, if the medical expert who comes in to testify is the chairman of the department, does that make him any more credible than a doctor who isn't the chairman of the department? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. So now in every medical malpractice case, we have to bring in medical experts to support the fact that number one, there was wrongdoing, number two, that the wrongdoing caused injury, and number three, that the injury is significant and permanent. So let's say we bring in a doctor who is the chairman of a medical department at a hospital. Does that mean that he is more credible? I have to share something with you. When I was growing up in a family of doctors, I always heard the phrase, oh, could you imagine if he was the chairman of that department? And it always gave great credence and great credibility to someone if they achieved that level where they now became chairman of that particular department. The reality is that becoming chairman of a department is really an administrative position. To become qualified for a chairman position, you do not have to be the best doctor in that hospital. You do not have to be the best doctor in the state of New York. It is quite possible to become the chairman of a department in a hospital without being the best doctor. How is that possible? Because it's an administrative position. They don't choose you or pick you based upon popularity of your colleagues, where they take a poll and they say, hey, who's the best doctor in this hospital? And now, based upon that poll, they go ahead and appoint that person as chairman of the department. It doesn't work that way. So the mere fact that a doctor has achieved the position of chairman of a particular medical department, yes, that's very prestigious, it's very nice, it's a great honorary position. However, when they come in to testify to explain why we are more likely right than wrong, that what we are claiming is true, the fact that they are the chairman of that particular department, yes, it lends weight and credibility, but it does not necessarily signify that they are the best doctor in that hospital or in the state of New York. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you because this does come up from time to time when medical experts are brought in and they are chairmen of particular departments. And now the other opposing attorney gets up and they cross-examine the doctor and they show to the jury that being chairman doesn't necessarily equate to being the best doctor with the best opinions in the state of New York. You know, I realize you're watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.